Hi guys, you are welcome to the Nigerian Farmers YouTube channel. And uh, as usual, we are live on Seed of Good Farm 1. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is uh, we want to make bed for our tomato Rio Grande. You know, things will be expensive in Nigeria for few months' time. And uh, we as a farmer, you know, the, I said something the other time. I said one of the great features of the professional farmer is being able to identify the best time to plant, the best time to harvest, the best time to, to do, do things. So those are the great features of the children of Isaka, you know. But today we want to prepare our bed again. We want to stock it up with uh, tomato seed and uh, we also plant the chili pepper, you know. I am fond of chili pepper. Let me see the master of chili pepper. So, uh, you know, this farm, we don't have any issue here. But the other farm, you know, I told you guys the other time that there are a lot of issues there. They will soon be so they will soon solve those issues by like next week. So we pray that the uh, the stuff should favor us. So today we have our mosquito net here. So we want to use it to prevent the uh, the predator from entering our setup. So another thing we have here is we have manure here. Uh, we have pig dung. Then we have our seedling tray. So this one is where we will be putting each of the seed. We have 16 of it. And each of the seedling tray is made up of, I think, 128 holes. So we have to make the and do F2. It is not the F1. Then we have, our, we have our chili pepper. The chili pepper is the uh, OPV. The one you can get from uh, this mala. So here yeah, we have few people that are helping me. We have a guy going to pat of the old set of. So he's helping us to dig the floor, uh, to dig the soil. We have uh, Yalade. So, <laughs> so they are here for IT. I'm my camera woman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> camera woman is not so good. So before we dive in, let us just uh, want to quickly chill out. The, the, We'll show you guys the whole process. So we have sticks here that we want to use to erect our uh, erect our setup. So hopefully, in 60 days time, our tomato will start bringing out fruit and uh, we'll soon eat the market. So we pray for great and bountiful after We pray for great setup with no mistakes. And uh, we want to use organic fertilizer or tree. So, this is it. So, thank you so much. Don't forget, if you are joining for the first time, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Like this video, share it, and make sure you turn on the notification bell button. So, apart from that, this video doesn't end yet. Let's proceed. That is only going to be looking good. <laughs> it doesn't take time to, you know, it doesn't take time to make money. But, you know, we human beings, there is something we used to do. That is procrastination. This thing now, it is something you can do within 30 minutes if you really want to do it. But I know you will procrastinate. So it is better you start doing what we give you food for the remaining days of this year. There is something that my mom used to do. You know, we have a plot of land and, uh, you know, at the back, she, whenever she eats yam, you know, the last end of the yam, she go and plant it. The last end of the yam, you know. Before we know it, you know, this year she harvested, I think, up to 10 tubers of yam. <laughs> and I was just marvel. And the most funny thing about that place was uh, I was, I was chicken at home. So she would just pack the dung, she would go and pour it beside the, the plant. And it still did well. When we removed the tuba, it was so long and big that she dashed it out. And the place she used, it was, it was not even the place, it was very small, and it didn't do So, if you want to do something like this, you don't need to leave, even enter, you don't need to enter the bush. This thing that we are doing, you can use rope to hold your mosquito net. Then you just pack small sand. You don't need to use uh, these uh, nursery trays itself. You can just pack small sand, make sure it is filled with manner. Then you spread your paper on it, so it's possible. But the only thing you need to do is, when you want to transplant it, Make sure that you wet it and transplant it. 
So stay tuned. We still have more to give you. But this is just the beginning. The next thing is to fill up your nursery tree. But if you don't have nursery tree, you dig up the floor, you make it soft, then you uh, dump your manure on it. But we, we are going to be using nursery tree. So the next thing is to fill it up. As you can see, the way they are filling it up. So you make everything uh, well garnished with soil. <laughs> then uh, you don't do your nursery tray like this. Do it this way. So don't do it, okay? So now it's time to plant where you fill the stuff up. But when you want to plant, you make sure that you put a seed in a hole. You don't put three seed in a hole. You don't put. You just put a seed in a hole. They will dominate. But the moment you are trying to put, trying to do more than what you can, you can chew. So you tend to uh, exhaust the manure that is inside the hole by planting more than one seed in that hole so and you know the outcome these the seedlings will all grow well and uh, it will affect your production so the best thing is to put one seed in a hole thank you the moment you leveled it and the whole stem is looking great so you pick you pour the seed we are planting tomato real grande and uh, is there anything that you need to know on this thing it is 100 grams so I bought it last year, but so I am yet to exhaust it. So we are planting with you. They said it is um, mm. so there's nothing special on the uh, thing. So we are planting it, but the last time I planted it, the seed is very big. So you can see the seed, the way it looks like on the screen. So this is the first time I'm planting uh, the first time I planted it. So now I uh, want to do another one. You put a seed, a seed, make sure you put it on your palm so that you can access it very well. You put a seed, make sure it is a seed per hole, a seed per hole. And when you want to level it, you take your manual, this is your manual, then you put it on it, you press it. So, something very simple. This is the manual, and you can take it, so you press it. So that the feed is seed is but the best thing is make sure you fill the whole setup with seed before you start closing it because if you close it the way I close it you might not know the holes that you put the seed in but you firstly put the seed in each of those of in each of the holes that we have like this you make sure you feel everything that the seed will be showing the seed will be showing like this. what you as uh, what I attach. So the seed will be showing like this. Then uh, you make sure that the seed show like what you are seeing. Then you use your manual, you put it on it, you press it so that the soil there will be mush. So if you are new to this channel, or I know you will have been watching my video and you feel you don't feel the urge to subscribe. You know the only way to help is to subscribe to this channel so that we can have more subscribers and you turn on the notification bell so you can watch more of our videos on pepper farming to have an idea of uh, what we've been doing and we assure you you fall in love with those videos so don't forget to subscribe share with your people thank you I like it's getting to the end so you water it and when you water it you make sure that the seeds stay inside so then the next thing is to cover it with maybe palm front or anything so so that the those stuff we retain water very well now we've covered it with a palm front then we use net to cover it Action. So, let me quickly show you what we have on ground so that it will not be as if I am lying to you. If you look at my back, you will see it extended to the last edge. That is where it is extended to 
the last end we have, we have our farmhouse so and if you look at this side you see that we have few blocks here so we plan to use this one for something else so and if you look here you will see that this place is well plowed now looking at the uh east side of this farm so this is the east side this thing that you are not you are seeing is not small everything you are seeing here is very very big let's move close to the place so that you know that this is not small and it's a very big uh, farm so um as you can see this is the place that we are trying to approach and if you look down that place taking most of our energy so if you look down here everywhere you know, Big pen here, horse big pen, big pen here. You have the goats pen here, and farm out, poultry pen. So we have our web. And the issue here is that the issue here, particular this particular farm that made me to shift the uh, pepper to that next farm, to the second farm, is well. There is no water here. We dug uh, two wells here. There's one here, there's the other one up there. So the one here is even better than the one up there. So we dug too well here and you know spent a lot of money and at the end of the day, we got to So the money, the water we are getting from this well every day dries is it's just 300 liters every day. Even it's not consistent. Sometimes you get 150, sometimes you get 100 every day. So it's not consistent. So but if I have money in the future. If there is a foundation that wants to support me, because many different people from different worlds, uh, from different countries, are watching this video. So if there is a foundation that wants to help, it's well. We'll be able to produce pepper here, and the pepper will not be all just ordinary pepper because this land is very big. But because the the there is no water, there is no water, so that's why we shifted to the second farm where we have pond, and it has not been easy pumping water from the pond every day. To the pepper site, so it has really drained me. But I just have to keep on doing it. You, you know, something that you find as business, hobby, and business, you have to keep on doing it so that you will not fail. So, but if anybody wants to support with both, I am open to. Even if you say you want to, you want to give the money, then you'll be collecting it small, small. Uh, if legally, I will subscribe to it because. It is something that I really need, but there is no resources or funds to go for it because to dig a well or to dig to site an industrial now uh, is not so good. It's almost like uh, for people that as for people that outside the country, it's almost like a thousand dollars. So for Nigeria money, it's almost close to two million naira. It's an industrial bomb. It's just not an ordinary bomb. Industrial bomb. Now, very deep and good water with strong gauge coming out from the place. So, if I can have that, I have a good foresight for this farm. So, if you can see the distance between the two pairs, so it will be a very great foresight that I have for this farm. But there's no money to run the farm very well. So, if you want to help, please, we have a YouTube channel. Thank you so much. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, like our videos, and share it with your friends. Thank you. Have a nice day.